Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition version of our order time webinar. In this uh, webinar we're going to be talking about our integration and partnership with FreightPrint. On the call with me today I have uh, Sam Titus from FreightPrint and we recently partnered with FreightPrint and added the integration in the most recent release to order time. Uh, FreightPrint is a delivery and logistics um, cloud platform and they can help you with creating shipment deliveries, um, whether you have your own fleet of trucks or um, you use third-party carriers or brokers or you want to look into using third-party carriers or brokers, um, you can use FreightPrint to enhance your logistics and push for uh, less than truckloads of your inventory. Um, on the screen right now, I have our landing page for order time and freight print. Um, we have some of the benefits here, such as uh, real-time visibility of your deliveries, um, auto alerts regarding the shipment statuses. We have also, um, you can dispatch loads to your logistic providers, um, create scannable QR code labels for easy tracking, um, and you can send to your uh, customers the the shipment tracking information without limiting it to uh, UPS or FedEx, etc. Um, there's electronic signature and picture capture proof of delivery using the app, like the driver would actually have the app. And uh, when they finish, they, they can go to a screen similar to this and have them sign for it. Um, there's load matching with your third party carriers and brokers so that they can uh, bid and book on the truckloads and uh, receive invoices from those haulers. So you get an invoice at the end of the load. And uh, you can also add a special shipment tracking widget to your own website so that your customers can go in there, click on the widget, enter their freight print number, and uh, it'll show them the tracking of their, of their delivery. Um, right now, freight print... Uh, connects with order time for the tracking info and data sync and then uh, it connects with your carriers so that you have the invoicing and load bit bidding and uh, as a shipper you have a full load planner from your dashboard um, you can broadcast those loads track and trace them and you have all your documents such as invoices in there and then the end customers benefit from a consistent delivery experience um, shipment tracking that they can reach even ver via your website using that widget and uh, a delivery confirmation um, as soon as they receive it um, and I'm gonna send it over to oh actually let me show you the way you set it up in order time when you're in order time we treat this just like any other shipping integration uh, when you go up here to your admin settings go to shipping integration it's right here next to ShipStation now. Um, clicking on this logo will actually take you to the FreightPrint.com site so that you can sign up, log in, and whatnot from there. And then you'd enter your FreightPrint username and password here to activate. As soon as you activate, it's going to throw you to the uh, subscription page. We treat it like an, any other shipping integration, so it's going to be 15 a month, um, just like ShipStation. And that's for the continued development of this integration because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of features that we're going to add to order time involving FreightPrint. Uh, and then once this is activated, Sam will show you on his slides, but when you're on a ship dock, uh, let me just go over here to a ship dock. When you're on a ship dock and you have the integration activated, there's going to be a button. Let me add that. There's going to be a button up here that shows like it's like plus freight print and that's how you'd actually send your ship dock in as a load into freight print. So um, it's completely integrated and I'm going to send it over to Sam to do a little presentation of exactly what freight print is capable of. Sam, you want to take the presentation? I just hit stop presenting. All right, thanks, Mike. Let me see if, uh, hold on. Okay, how is that looking? 
I can see it now. And if, if any of you can't see uh, Sam's screen right now, just go to the top right and click on People, and then make sure you click the box next to Freight Print Presentation, and then you'll be able to see his screen. Um, if you can't see it, just leave me a little chat message too. But um, here's the presentation of what Freight Print can do for your company. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, Mike. I think, uh, Mike, you did such a good job. I don't have anything else to share. So... The coffee will be served <laughs> after this, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. You hey, thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, for joining this webinar. Um, this uh, is uh, an exciting in uh, opportunity that we have with uh, Order Time. Uh, I know Order Time is an excellent uh, platform software that manages all the inventory needs uh, and order management of uh, of your company. And uh, I, think, I believe it was last year we reached out and uh, we um, uh, worked on a partnership and uh, basically wanted to give uh, you uh, the ability to manage your orders beyond the warehouse. So in other words, once the order is picked, once the items are picked, once it's packaged and, uh, you know, you... Freightprint really gives you the ability to to have the visibility beyond uh, the inventory leaving uh, leaving your uh, your dock your warehouse. Um, Freightprint, uh, you know, I I often uh, start with a statement uh, regarding logistics. Logistics is going through a lot of changes, right? And, and we have identif identified that the changes mainly uh, happens in these three areas. Uh, one is the visibility and automation, uh, which is uh, basically your uh, need to know what is happening with your shipments once it leaves your warehouse. Um, uh, and, and how can you automate different processes uh, uh, regarding, you know, preparing your shipment for delivery, right? And the shipper carrier relationship is logistics was, uh, you know, it used to be something handled by carriers, meaning the trucking companies and brokers and things like, you know, entities like that. Uh, but now in today's world, uh, logistics is equally important for a shipper um, uh, because the end customer really. Uh, doesn't see this uh, third-party entities as uh, as someone that they connect with, right? So, so the you, therefore you are creating a conduit or a, a direct connection with with your end customers by having a better uh, and a more robust and transparent relationship with your carriers. So, shippers and carriers now work as a single uh, entity or a single operation. Um, therefore, it, you know, it's ultimately the third point is the customer experience, right? Um, you know, we live in a world where every year we are adding 25,000 new in, you know, SKUs or inventories to the market. Uh, product uni uniqueness is no longer, uh, uh, you know, an attractive uh, metric for your customers. Customers are looking for how they can connect with your products and uh, the, the entire customer experience is uh, very, very important in today's market, right? I just want to point out a few things so that, um, you know, it, it really makes sense uh, in your world, in your operations, how Freightprint can be a uh, value. Uh, Freightprint is an easy-to-use freight management tool. So what we do is we really help uh, manage your freight fulfillment uh, processes, right? So I, I want to say that we are not a broker. We are not a carrier. We don't own trucks or anything like that. We are strictly a technology platform, just like order time is for your inventory needs. Um, and one of the differences between uh, freight print and some of the uh, traditionally available TMSs or transportation management software is that Freightprint is really designed with two things in mind. One is simplicity. And if uh, any of you have used or leveraged a tra traditional transportation management system, uh, you would agree with this, 
statement that it is very complex, mainly because, you know, transportation is not a simple thing, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of moving parts, right? Uh, the other thing is shippers efficiency. So we build freight print really to uh, serve our shippers because the shippers really don't need to uh, comply to all the FMCSA um, or rules and regulations. And, you know, you are, uh, as a shipper, uh, your interests are, you know, very different from a traditional transportation company's interests. So, so freight print really gives you those benefits and features without overcomplicating the transportation or the logistics upper, uh, you know, side of your business. So before we go, uh, you know, dive deep in, I wanted to uh, give you a, a quick overview. Uh, it's a workflow of how everything works in uh, freight print. So on the left side, you see that uh, in, there's the order and order and we call it a load in our in our uh, freight, uh, freight print dashboard. A load is basically uh, a direct connection with an order, right? And that order can be uh, a, an order from uh, order time. Um, and uh, as Mike was uh, mentioning before, uh, the the connection right now is for you. Uh, for order time customers is through ship doc, right? So when you create a ship doc, uh, you can click a button, and I'll show you that in a little bit. That will um, that would directly create a load on freight print. So basically, your ship doc will have a, a shipment tracking number that is trackable all the way to the end consignee, right? Um, regardless of how many carriers would touch that load, uh, we handle that part post order time, right? So all you need is um, that ability to create that load directly from the data that you have on your ship dock straight to uh, freight print. And this will make sense when I explain. So, and, and these are some of the basic uh, core functions uh, that we have in freight print, uh, creating a load, once you create a load, you dispatch a load to a carrier or your own driver. If you, if you have uh, you know, a fleet of trucks, you, you dispatch it to your driver. And then the driver, once the driver accepts the load, uh, we have a track and trace feature automatically enabled. Um, and then the driver uh, uh, delivers the load, right? So upon delivery, you will collect signature you will also collect uh, uh, pictures as a proof of delivery, and and those uh, proof of delivery would be directly uh, sent automa uh, automa uh, automatically sent back to your load dashboard. Right uh, on the orange, we have uh, these are optional, by the way. Uh, if you imagine if you have a load and you do not know who uh, you know who is going to pick up that load. So we have something called a load broadcast, which is basically you create a list of carriers or drivers uh, that would potentially bid on that load, and you you know dispatch or broadcast that load to those uh, to those drivers, and depending on uh, who is available and uh, you know whatnot, the different different criteria, you will receive the response from uh, every single driver. Uh, on that list, and therefore, um, based on the response, you go back to dispatching it. So I just want to point out a few variations there. And we also have a few uh, basic accounting uh, functionalities that we cover, which is uh, your carrier, if you're uh, using a third-party carrier, um, when they deliver the load, freight print will automatically create an invoice on their behalf or uh, on the drivers or the carrier's behalf and send it to you for accounting purposes. So now you have a load that you created, you dispatched, and the, the invoice for that load will be automatically uh, approved and generated and sent back to your dashboard. So now what that does is it really uh, takes care of most of the, uh, you know, functionalities or the most of the processes 
um, that uh, you do on a uh, on a you know logistic side of your business. And here's a diagram that explains uh, the different values. So we are a load planner. Um, what what that means is it allows you to plan uh, your uh, logistics operations, right? So it could be um, one or two loads a week, up, you know, or uh, 100 loads a week. You know, our dashboard, shipper dashboard, will allow you to create all those loads in advance and communicate with the right parties and schedule it and dispatch it and, and collect and uh, review the proof of delivery and things like that. Um, uh, and uh, we, we connect uh, the shippers, carriers, and also with uh, third-party software like order time uh, and also the end customers. So the real uh, value of freight print, you know, it's, it's really uh, to two groups of, uh, you know, there are two groups of uh, people that really benefits from freight print. One is you, obviously, the shipper. You know, you will, you will uh, have the advantage of having a load planner. Um, which allows you to schedule pickups, drop-offs, uh, allows you to network with your your own drivers or your local carriers um, and uh, broadcast loads to them and receive bid, etc. Uh, you also have the, uh, the track and trace uh, capabilities where you can track your own loads, right, and you can receive all the signature as a proof of delivery, driver notes, pictures, all back to you. It's not really something that is you have to bug your broker or a care, you know, or a trucking company to get this information. This, these data now is owned by you, and they are simply servicing you to provide this information back to you through Freightprint, right? So, so that is, uh, and again, with BOL and invoicing, this will give you the electronic. Uh, BOLs, uh, electronic invoices from carriers, so that it just takes care of all that uh, redundant um, or you know time-consuming tasks that you uh, that you have you know on the on the logistics side. For your customers, obviously, um, Mike mentioned the the customer-facing widget part, uh, so that gives them visibility. So your customers are no longer in the dark; they can simply go to uh, well, by the way, we, we send them alerts, uh, we send them emails, uh, anytime uh, uh, the load is dispatched, the load is delivered, um, uh, we, we also give them, uh, we, we also give you uh, the capability to actually uh, embed a widget, and I will show you that in a little bit, on your own website, right? So your customers will be driven back to your own website, and they can look up their orders um, uh, using using the tracking number, right? It's just like how they would on a FedEx or Amazon or anything like that. So, so I just want to point out some of these things. Um, uh, I, I I will quickly go through some of these slides. Uh, I don't think we have, uh, and I, I don't want to overload you with a lot of a lot of information. I just want to show you that how track and trace works. So, in, in a sense. Um, uh, the way it works is freight print uh, has uh, obviously the the dashboard just like you have an order time uh, we have our own dashboard we can list and you can create and you can track all the loads we also have a, a, a mobile app which is basically uh, a QR code or a barcode scanner right and uh, so these scanners can uh, scan uh, your your either the documentation the the uh, the unique tracking number or the the labels that you create from freight print website um, can be scanned right and the the advantage of these scanners are these scanners are uh, mobile apps therefore we have a lot more access to data than just scanning right so we so this is how we do the track and trace functionalities if the drivers uh, would scan an item and we enable tracking for those guys uh, you know, they you you pretty much can map them. You know, uh, put them on a map. And if you have hundred, you know, uh, let's say you have uh, you know ten to twenty uh, loads on going to different places, you can see them all in real time on a map, right? So that's that's powerful a way for you to 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 track. And uh, I just want to say that this that type level of tracking is 
uh, available to you internally as a shipper. We uh, we we give your your customers your end customers a limited access to what they can see about their loads, uh, like the city and states and things like that, for security reasons. But you can see your shipments on a map in real time. And this is an, an example of how easy it is for you to scan uh, a bill of lading, right? You just scan the, uh, the QR code, which is a unique tracking number, and that will pull up all the information, um, you know, for that shipment, right? Um, and I mentioned about dispatching before, uh, and this is just a, a picture of how, and I think, uh, Mike, you also showed this, this picture on your uh, landing page. Um, so this is, again, easy to update status on a load. When the load is delivered, you can receive signature as proof of delivery and things like that. Um, and I want to show you how it actually integrates with order time. So if you look at your shipment, uh, uh, what you call ship docs, uh, you will see a button like this. And this button will show up when you enable and activate the integration, which uh, Mike you sh uh, showed, but I will just say that again. You go to your ship in integration, uh, you click on activate uh, button, and basically you sign up uh, for an account with Freightprint. And then you use the same username and password uh, to enable uh, freight print on your order time. And once you have done that, you will see this button. And when you create this, uh, when you click this button, what it does is it will take all the information for, from that ship dock and post it to freight print uh, and will return it with the tracking number for that unique ship dock, right? So basically this tracking number is now trackable outside of your warehouse, right? All the logistics related statuses and, you know, track and trace, real-time alerts, everything is tied to this unique tracking number that we just created. And this is a, a, a picture of a dashboard, and I'll just go through it quickly. I'm looking at the clock here, Mike. So, and this is, again, the electronic docs, the emails, everything can be branded. And I want to say that this is another benefit of you as a shipper um, managing and controlling your logistics and the delivery operations. Uh, even though it is fulfilled by a third party, you are in control of the, the documentation, the, the messaging, the branding. So this will, this will be your logo, your name, and they can see this. They will see these emails um, anytime they, uh, you know, anytime you dispatch, anytime they have a delivery. You know, so we, we automate those things, right? And you can create your own labels, right? Uh, uh, and, uh, and we, you know, so, uh, and again, these, these labels can be used if you, if you have, uh, like, uh, a parcel type products that it's, it's neatly packed and you can slap it on, on, the, on the box and the drivers can use this as a tracking. <clears throat> And uh, and this is again oh, another picture of the uh, of how the documents look like from the carrier once they um, uh, delivers the load and you know he will invoice you. Uh, again, real time alerts and this is the tri uh, tra the the tracking uh, widget that we that I talked to you about earlier. So this will basically allow you to uh, post this on your own website without having to do any, any coding or anything like that. This is something that um, uh, you can easily embed it in your website. Uh, and we have, you know, a help. We, we will provide you with help if, if you need it. Uh, it basically allows your customers to go uh, and look up their order information. Um, I like to say, end with this person here saying that, you know, people don't care how much you know unless they know how much you care, right? So Freightprint, you know, we, we really emphasize this, um, that, you know, we live in a world where, you know, information overload, right? Everybody knows about anything. So n knowledge in itself is not strength anymore. You know, we need to also show that we care for our, our customers. So uh, delivery logistics may be a small part of supply chain, but it's the only part your end customer sees. And again, Freight print uh, uh, offers you the ability to really give the uh, the visibility uh, for your delivery logistics for your customers. 
Um, <clears throat> and I, I will just mention a couple of things about uh, how you can start uh, uh, sign up. You, uh, like Mike mentioned, you go to your integration, you click there, uh, and sign up for uh, for the account. It's it's a SaaS, meaning software as a service. We don't have any contract or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, you can start anytime. You can cancel anytime. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that's uh, that's where it is. And and I know our, our time is limited. I only have like a couple of more, a couple more minutes left, Mike. It, it, um, it's all it's all good. We uh, so we can I, do like a little question answer period. But I wanted you to show them about the discount as well. Yeah. So for uh, for order time customers, uh, we are offering uh, a special discount. It's a limited time. Uh, we are offering a ten percent discount on the subscriptions. So uh, and I will. Uh, I think Mike, we can send uh, a follow up email with the coupon code. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. just want to let you know that you know we would like to offer that as as a as a limited offer for for order time customers. And and again, um, we we don't have enough uh, time to go through in depth demos and things like that. But I'll be happy to to show more in depth demos and things like that. Um, uh, on a you know case by case one on one basis, if if that's a need. Yeah, definitely. Uh, to, they can. Uh, you can send me an email at michael at numberedcruncher dot com or michael at ordertime dot com, and I can get you set up with a one on one demo with Sam for him to go through exactly how it would look uh, with your business. Um, I'll be sending out an email after this uh, with some information and links and uh, the coupon code, obviously. Um, did you have a demo website where you had the widget already up? I remember you had shown me one yeah, before. Yeah, Can sure. You... Oh, yeah, that that's the one. Can you, you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Okay. So this, this is uh, uh, an example of how that widget looks like. So this is uh, one of our customer websites. So on the bottom right, you see that track shipment, right? Mm -hmm. So you click over there and, and imagine your customer is going to your website and they can look up their orders, and all they need to do is enter the their tracking number for that order, and and you click on track status. Um, I, I put an invalid number. Hold on, let me let me do something here. And this is this is basically how the dashboard looks like. Oh, cool. um, and I can go to that website and put a tracking number and track status and it will show the status of that order. Oh, okay. Right? And they can view the bill of lading straight up from there too? They can view the bill of lading, correct. They can oh, view cool. the bill of lading uh, and whatever. In this case, this order, this the, the only status available is that the order has, been, has been received. Placed, or order yeah. placed. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's 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 how this tracking, tracking widget works. Um, and I, I want to do... Do you do you want to go into question, Mike? Or yeah, we can we can open up here? the floor to some question and answer. Um, at the top right of your screen, um, you can click on the chat button and uh, just leave us a question in there, and uh, we can get to it one by one. Um, just let us know if you got any questions. I'll read them out. Okay. Might be able to open it up for some voice questions. Uh, okay, what sort of cost are we talking about? Jim's straightforward. <laughs> um, talking about the cost of freight print. Did you want to show them the minimal plan and the the? I think it was three different plans. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. So our cost uh, is based on your volume, Jim. Um, so we start at ninety nine dollars a month. Uh, and uh, and it goes. Uh, it actually costs. Uh, the cost will go down as the volume goes up. So, so ninety nine dollars is where we start. It comes with all the basic. You know, have one user access. It will uh, allow you to connect with uh, you know a limited number of uh, drivers and things like that. But I think for most of our customers, ninety nine dollars is a good place to start and create 
you know, create shipper uh, shipments uh, and dispatch it and manage that whole whole process. Um, our next level is one ninety nine per month, uh, and that that will come with a lot more features and a lot more uh, control over the shipment. And what's the uh, a lot more integration. what's the load limitation on uh, on the ninety nine? Ninety nine is twenty five loads per month. Okay. So okay. twenty five loads per month, and one ninety nine is one hundred loads per month, and then the uh, and the the other tier is four ninety nine for five hundred loads per month. So mm -hmm. at four ninety nine, you're paying you know, uh, less than a dollar per load yeah. um, is, is, is how it breaks down. Yeah, and then you have uh, access to the full suite of technology and and the full platform for tracking and build lading and invoicing. So it's it's really a, a technology platform through and through, just like order time, um, that gives you visibility on all your truck drivers, see where they're at, um, how long it's going to take them to deliver that load, um, can you pull up the dashboard one more time? I just want to take a look at it. Yeah, so may maybe I can just uh, quickly show you how, how everything works. So this right here is the dashboard. So these are all the loads, right? And on the top, you have kind of a high-level metric of how many loads are in transit mm -hmm. and how many loads have been delivered. And we'll list all the drivers that are, you know, or the carriers that are holding the loads, right? Um and here is, uh, this is how you create a load. You click on new load, uh, and you have your pickup information, your delivery information, and your, uh, the details regarding the shipment, right? Um, and this, this load creation is automated when you have the integration with, um, with order time. Mm -hmm. So when you have the integration, whenever you click that button, it automatically creates a load here. And it says that it's reserved, meaning this, this load is reserved. Uh, it still needs to be assigned because we don't know which which carrier is picking it up or, or however you want to do that, right? So, and you have different statuses, um, you know, deliver and dispatch, dispatched, et cetera. Oh, and you can um, calculate the commission for the, for the carrier can, there. Yeah, exactly. You can do the commission. You can uh, list all the rates, different rates that you have with different uh, different drivers, different truck, uh, you know, uh, carriers. Oh. Here's how you can print a label. And this is, uh, by the way, your own unique tracking number. This is not UPS's or FedEx's. This is your own tracking number, right? Um, and there are a few things you can upload as uh, update a status. So there are different ways to do this, and this is the way you manually do it on your dashboard. Um, but if you have your mobile app, then you are using the app to scan the QR codes and update it through the phone. Uh, but this is a good example of, you know, if you want to change the status to deliver, and you can actually get the signature and, and type the name and, you know, update it, and all of a sudden that load has a new update. And you can actually go and see the signature, right? Um, so it's, you know, it's very... You know, pretty straightforward, uh, intuitive, user you know, user friendly. What we we do have. Go ahead. Yeah, I have one question. Where where do their truck drivers? Uh, let's say they've got their own fleet or their own truck drivers set up. Where do their truck drivers download the app? So they can they can go to uh, App Store, iPhone App Store, or Google Google Play, mm -hmm. or they can just go to uh, FreightPrint.com. Well, uh, like here, um, and go to free mobile app. Okay, gotcha. And they can download the app. Okay, and it's for Android and, so the app and is iOS. Free. Basically, yeah, basically the, the, the idea is the app is free for the drivers and uh, because we want them to use it um, yeah. without, you know, really having to pay for it. Because the the, the idea that we have is the, the, the 3PLs, the uh, you know they are actually giving uh, value to the shippers, right? So it's just yep, Ho uh, hooking them up with the ability to be broadcasted loads from the shippers, which is all you guys. Correct, correct. And uh, over there, what what's the sales section look like uh, or invoices? 
So invoices, this is basically um, all the invoices that you will see right now on my dashboard. You don't see anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a sandbox. Um, yeah, it's basically the invoice uh, from the carrier, right? So let's say in this example, um, the carrier, this is a demo account for me, so everything says Sam Titus. But in a, in a real account, you will have different carriers, right? So... And every carrier, when they deliver, uh, you will you will actually see an invoice, a one-to-one -one relationship between a load and an invoice. Mm -hmm. So you will see the invoice all in your invoice section, um, and that and that way you can um, let me let me see if I can quickly sign into a different account. Um, I can show you how invoicing. <clears throat> So the, <clears throat> excuse me. Are are you still with me? Yep. Is the screen visible? Yep. Got it. Okay. So this this is how invoicing works, right? So you can go here and see the invoice. Um, sorry, that's the BOL. Yeah, and that shows you the uh, signature right there, the the BOL that you can pull up. Correct. Yeah, and this also gives you the ability to see whether, hey, th was this load delivered? Who delivered it? Do we have a signature? before you release the invoice, right? So mm -hmm. this is a really handy way to 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 really know and verify and you know proof of delivery. And if you've done this uh from a shipper's perspective, you know that it's it's a pain to get this proof of deliveries back from the carriers because it comes in all forms and you know it's through email, text message, snail mail, fax, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um and you also we also have some limited we're not an accounting software, we're not QuickBooks, we're not order time, but we do have few things like you can update the invoice status for the carrier, right? So it's paid, mm -hmm. is it closed, or dispute, etc. Um, if you know. And and the best thing is you can always uh, export um, the the data as an Excel file. Good, right? good. And now that data is usable for you to put it, dump it into QuickBooks or any other uh, accounting-related uh, software that you use. Right, and I believe on the order time side, so once you've got the integration activated, you have the freight print button on your ship docs. You slam that button, that creates the load. Um, once it's completely delivered, I, I think as soon as you hit that button, uh, order... Order time switches the flag also on the ship dock to say that it's um that it's is it delivered? yeah, it, yeah. well that it's in sh in transit or something like that and then they go back after it's been delivered whoever the dispatcher person if they're also an order time user um they'd either tell the order time user to go back to the ship dock and they can swap it to delivered or um or they themselves could just uh, swap the flag on the ship dock once it actually is delivered. So uh, don't quote me on that, but that, that's the way that it was meant to be used. So that back in order time, you'd switch it to delivered once you had confirmation on the freight print side. And uh, obviously, if there's any changes that need to be made on the order time side to how the integration functions or for additional functionality, all you have to do is send in a ticket to support at ordertime.com, and we'd immediately put that on development for the next release. Um, this integration came in the current release that was a few weeks ago, and so it's already in there, um, ready for you to sign up on freight print and then go into your shipping integration within order time and you can put in your freight print username and password and hit activate and then it's all good to go from there um, any support that you would need um, I know that freight print uh, has a, a support widget I believe straight from the front page and uh, with us you can email support at order time dot com or use the widget that's on the home page of uh, when you're logged into order time uh, where where do they get to support on the freight print end? So for support, you can uh, reach out to us. Uh, we have a few different ways. We have a chat, you know, online chat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you you know, once you become a customer, you will have a special, uh, a unique phone number uh, that you can call us anytime. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, you know, we we offer training. We offer. Um, we, we don't do a lot of customization because, you know, there's not a lot. 
that we do well, it's, on our it, end. It's pretty uh, full featured on the dashboard, from what it seems yeah. like. It, it, you you it, made it to the order time. You know, we, we, we yeah we we are pretty uh, nimble that way. Um, but I wanted I, I don't think I showed you in, in real time what the maps look like. Oh yeah. So this is what this is actually a real time view, and this is where I live. By the way, don't uh, <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> don't, uh, don't come follow me here but uh so this is you know this is an example of you know how, what you would see right so you'll have the bubble on the map and you can see all the items that driver is uh hauling right now uh his contact number you can view the bols and you can see when is the last time that driver was able to uh you know the freightman was able to track that driver yeah. in real time so it's today 11:40 42 a.m. Pacific time is when, uh, which is a minute ago, right? So, Good. so that's you know, I just want to show you that real quick before. Yeah, and that it's time stamped. Um, is, are yeah, there any time stamped? Correct. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Um, you can click up the top right, click on chat, and add your questions. Or I could probably. Uh, unmute you all as long as oh no you got to individually unmute yourselves um if you want to speak instead of chat if not i think it was a pretty self-contained uh webinar um, to get to the information that I was showing at the beginning, uh, and just keep in mind, this webinar is being recorded, so um, uh, I'll, I'll send out the recording. It'll be in the past webinars section of our knowledge base. Uh, let me switch to this tab. I'm just going to put the link... whoops lost me there for a second um i'm just gonna put the link in chat right now head on over to that link that i just put in chat and you can uh head over to the landing page there's also a form there that you can fill out if you want to uh, get a one-on-one -on -one demo that'll immediately send me an email i can get in touch with sam and get you set up for a one-on-one -on -one demo so i just put that in the chat you can get there by clicking in the top right uh, otherwise, um, have a good day, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for uh, for joining. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.